What if Earth had not just one moon, but two? It might sound like a sci-fi concept, but scientists have explored this idea for decades using real physics, gravitational modeling, and moon formation theories. Adding another moon to Earth's sky might seem like a simple change, but it would unleash a cascade of astronomical, geological, and biological consequences that would reshape our planet in dramatic ways. Let's begin with what the moon currently does for Earth. Our single moon is far more than a pretty light in the night sky. It stabilizes our planet's axial tilt, which means it plays a direct role in moderating Earth's climate. It also creates tides by pulling on Earth's oceans, supports biological rhythms in countless species, and slows the planet's rotation through tidal friction. Without the Moon, Earth would be wildly unstable. So what happens when you introduce a second gravitational body into this delicate equation? First, let's define our hypothetical second Moon. To keep things scientifically grounded, let's assume it's about one-third the size of our current Moon, comparable to Jupiter's Moon Europa. That still makes it a major gravitational influence. Now we must ask, where would it orbit? If the second moon is too close to Earth, it risks crashing into us or being torn apart by tidal forces. If it orbits too close to our current moon, gravitational interactions could destabilize both orbits. But if placed at the right distance, perhaps at one of Earth's stable Lagrange points, like L4 or L5, the second moon could maintain a semi-stable position. These points are like cosmic parking spots where gravity and orbital motion balance out. In some models, two moons could coexist if they are far enough apart and not in orbital resonance, a situation where their gravitational interactions become rhythmically disruptive. Now, let's consider what changes this new configuration would bring to Earth. First up, tides. Currently, the moon causes regular, predictable tides as it pulls on Earth's oceans. Adding a second moon would make tidal patterns far more complex. In regions where the tidal forces of both moons align, we'd see massive super tides, periodic flooding on a scale modern cities aren't built to handle. In other places, the gravitational poles might oppose each other, weakening or cancelling tides entirely. This wouldn't just affect human infrastructure. Tidal rhythms govern the behavior of countless marine species, from spawning cycles of fish and coral to the migratory patterns of whales and sea turtles. Entire ecosystems might collapse or evolve in radical new directions. Coral reefs could bleach and die, while tidal flats could vanish entirely. And it's not just water that moves, Earth's crust also shifts slightly under the moon's gravitational influence, what scientists call solid Earth tides. With two moons, the crust would flex more, possibly triggering increased volcanic activity or more frequent earthquakes in tectonically active zones like the Pacific Ring of Fire. Now let's talk about axial tilt. Earth's tilt of 23.5 degrees gives us seasons. The moon helps keep that tilt stable by acting as a gravitational anchor. Without the moon, Earth might wobble like a spinning top, flipping between extreme tilts that could throw the planet into rapid climate shifts, like Mars does. But what if we had two moons? That depends entirely on their orbits. If both moons are perfectly placed, they might stabilize Earth's axis even better than a single moon. But if they drift into orbital resonance, or if the smaller moon's orbit slowly changes over time, the effect could be destabilizing. Earth's axial tilt might start to wobble, shifting the distribution of sunlight across the globe. Some areas could become locked in eternal winters, while others bake under constant summer. Over thousands of years, this kind of axial variation, known as obliquity, could cause ice ages, mass extinctions, or force massive migrations of human populations. Climate would become unpredictable and chaotic. But let's not forget the view from Earth. Two moons would dramatically change our night sky. The smaller moon might appear as a bright second orb, possibly half the diameter of the main moon. Depending on its orbit, it might rise and set at different times, giving us double moonrises, overlapping eclipses, and even occasional dual full moons. Eclipses, in fact, would become a fascinating mess. Right now, solar eclipses are rare and geographically narrow, occurring only when the moon passes directly between Earth and the Sun. With two moons, eclipses would become far more frequent, and often more dramatic. You could have partial eclipses caused by one moon, followed moments later by a total eclipse from the other. Sometimes both moons could cast shadows across Earth simultaneously, creating strange overlapping patterns of darkness. Ancient astronomers would have been baffled. Calendars would look completely different. Instead of tracking one 29.5-day lunar cycle, humanity might have developed dual moon calendars, or more chaotic systems of timekeeping based on the unpredictable movements of two celestial bodies. Religious beliefs, myths, and symbolism tied to the moon would multiply. Cultures might worship the moons as twin gods, one of light, one of darkness, or tie them to opposing elements like chaos and order. 
Now let's consider evolution. It might sound surprising, but the moon has played a role in shaping life on Earth. The tides it creates influence the early evolution of land-dwelling creatures. Some scientists believe tidal pools, created and refreshed by the moon's pull, provided the perfect environment for primitive sea creatures to evolve limbs and move onto land. With two moons, this tidal complexity might have accelerated or slowed that evolutionary path. Perhaps life would have remained in the oceans much longer. Or maybe life would have adapted to the dramatic tidal cycles in entirely different ways, evolving creatures with new sensory systems to detect and ride multiple tides. And what about human behavior? Circadian rhythms in humans are tied to the day-night cycle, but lunar phases also influence sleep, hormone levels, and behavior in subtle ways. Studies have shown that full moons can slightly reduce sleep quality or increase anxiety in some people. Now imagine adding a second lunar cycle, possibly out of sync with the first, creating overlapping psychological effects. Festivals, superstitions, even crime rates might be tied to which moon is full. But here's where things get even more interesting. A second moon might not stay put forever. Gravitational interactions in multi-moon systems are inherently unstable. If the second moon were too small or in a decaying orbit, it could eventually spiral inward and crash into the main moon, or Earth. Some models predict that over millions of years, one moon might sling the other out of orbit entirely. In fact, this may have already happened. Some scientists believe Earth once did have a second moon. A smaller body, formed from the same giant impact that created our current moon, may have co-orbited Earth in a trailing position. Eventually, it collided with the main moon in a slow-motion impact, explaining the strange geological differences between the moon's near side and far side. This theory, known as the double moon hypothesis, remains one of the more intriguing ideas in planetary science. It's also worth noting how a second moon would complicate space travel. Satellites and spacecraft would have to navigate a more complex gravity field. Trajectories would need careful adjustment to avoid being tugged off course. On the other hand, a second moon might provide a useful stepping stone for missions deeper into the solar system, or serve as a backup base for lunar colonization, offering different materials or exposure to sunlight. A twin moon system might also inspire new technologies. If the moons reflect light differently or orbit at different speeds, we could harness them for novel forms of energy, perhaps even lunar-based solar arrays that beam energy back to Earth. Artists, poets, and dreamers would look up and see not one, but two glowing companions in the sky. The double moon might become a universal symbol of balance, duality, or cosmic wonder. But with all this beauty comes danger. If the moons ever drifted into each other's orbital paths, a collision would be inevitable. And if that happened, Earth would not be spared the consequences. Lunar debris raining down through the atmosphere, massive shockwaves, and gravitational disruptions could destabilize the entire planet. Civilization might not survive such an event. Still, even without a catastrophic end, the presence of two moons would mark Earth as a truly unique planet in the solar system. Among the eight planets, only Earth has a single large moon. The rest either have none, like Mercury and Venus, or dozens, like Jupiter and Saturn, but those moons are tiny in comparison. A dual large moon system would be unprecedented. Ultimately, the question what if Earth had two moons? Isn't just about astronomy, it's about appreciating the finely tuned dynamics of our own world. Our moon is more than a satellite. It's a stabilizer, a clock, a climate regulator, and a quiet partner in the story of life. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, imagine not one, but two moons hanging above you. Two sources of light. Two gravitational forces. Two silent witnesses to the history of Earth. It's a poetic thought, and a reminder of how deeply cosmic forces shape everything we know.